Welcome and a lesson about personal problem solving skills. Problems come in several categories, depending on how much control you have over them. Some of the problems you need to solve are your personal problems and you have control over them. These are problems like what kind of shoes you want to wear today. You also have problems you can't solve all by yourself. You need the help of others to help you solve them, like when you need to loan some money to buy a new bike. The third category are problems that concern you, but you have no control over them. So things like, I hate these new lockdown rules, but I can't do anything about it. For the second category though, personal problems that you can't solve by yourself, you need leadership to get the help of others to help you solve that problem. If you need the help from someone else to solve your problem, it helps if that someone is happy to help you. That's where your leadership skills come in handy. You can also call it communication skills or sales skills, but we like to call it leadership skills, which we define by getting other people to do what you want. The challenge is to influence what people think and how they behave. You might think that leadership is like manipulation, but that is not what we mean. There are several strategies you can use to get people to do what you want. You can force them, you can bribe, you can back, you can cheat, you can pay, you can manipulate. If you get a bit creative, you can go on for a while before you run out of options. Most of the main strategies are either not within your reach or they will ruin your relationship. You can force people to do what you want them to do, but you need power and it is pretty violent. You can bribe people to do what you want by paying them, but that is expensive and not very effective. You can manipulate, cheat or beg, which might work in the short run, but people will eventually get fed up with you and might even start to take revenge. The only way to get your way and not pay too high a price is using your charm or likability. If people really like you, they are more likely to grant you a favor. They will probably not just grant you a favor, but they will be happy to grant you a favor. You can enhance your likability by being trustworthy. Say what you do and do what you say. Don't judge others, don't give critique, don't tell them what to do. If you like, check out solution-based coaching in the description of this page. Showing empathy. Display sincere interest in others. Not just ask how they are doing, but expressing sincere empathy when things are not going as planned. Being good company. People need to like to be with you. Don't be obnoxious. Don't try to be right all the time. Try to inspire and motivate the people around you. Coming up with ideas that other people like. Your ideas are just ideas that won't get any further unless others like your ideas. First, listen and figure out what people like. Then, present your ideas in such a way that they are easily adopted by others. Make sure your ideas become their ideas. And somehow, being right or being the best does not improve your likability, nor your ability to lead and get your way. Let's try it out. Let's do a leadership test. We will take an example that you are very familiar with. So you're doing this group project and one of your group members does not deliver. Do you have any experience with that? Now, you want to convince this group member to do his or her fair share of work. So what will you do? Will you threaten the person to do the work or else? Will you bribe the person with the promise of money or favors? Will you go on your knees and beg this person to do what they need to do? Or do you have any other ideas? If nothing works, you need to fire this member from the group. But then you need to do the work with fewer group members. Let's take another example. You need to get to work and the buses are not an option anymore. You need to borrow money for a new bike, which you are able to repay with ease. And you ask me, your teacher, for a loan. Asking me for money is not the best idea you can have even though I might lend it to you, because I'm not allowed. There's rules in school that prevent me from doing so. If you can't ask me, you can ask your next door neighbor. How can you improve your chances of success of borrowing money from her on favorable terms? It helps when she already knows you. It helps if you have a good reputation and you're seen as sincere and trustworthy. It also helps to see the situation from her point of view. You need to understand that she is doing you a favor. And at last but not least, it would help if you would offer her a good deal. 
She gives you money, but what do you give her in return?